Hello my friends and happy Monday. I'm really excited to get back to it this week, get back on track, start losing weight again. I have some intentions, so let's go over those first. I've created a whole playlist of what I eat in a week videos now that I've posted several, so I'll link that down below if you want to watch any of those. But basically, I've been trying to post one of these about every other week, and I am in the process of losing 75 pounds. I've currently lost 19 pounds, but I've been stalled for probably, I don't know, I was gonna say several weeks, but it's probably been almost two months <laughs> now because of some uh, health issues that I've been having. But uh, those have been mostly resolved, so we must press on. So my intentions this week are I did lower my daily calories. I use my fitness pal to track all of my food, and I have decreased my daily calories to 1,650, which should have me losing about two pounds a week. We'll see about that. My other goal is to exercise for at least five hours a week. So whether that's five days for an hour each time, or 10 times for a half an hour each time, whatever it is, that is my goal. Uh, my goal is also to make sure that I'm getting in all my water and basically try to focus on low calorie dense foods, protein and veggies. This morning for breakfast, I made an English muffin with two pieces of Canadian bacon, an egg, and a piece of the Velveeta sliced American slices, which are only 35 calories each. Anyway, I made a breakfast sandwich out of that. It was really good, but my stomach was upset, so I didn't eat it all. I ate half of that. And then I also had a cup of the Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. I ate about two thirds of that, so really not much for breakfast. And then for lunch, I had a pack of tonkatsu ramen which is one of my favorites. If you've never tried that ramen before, it's really good. So, so much for the lean protein and vegetables today, but we, we shall press on. And then I had some saltine crackers as well. I am gonna finish my work day, and then I think we are gonna make some grilled meat tonight, maybe some peppers, maybe do like a fajita type thing. So we'll see. It takes more than just eating the right stuff to treat your skin right for that healthy, youthful look. And that is why I am partnering with Genucel Skincare for today's video. Genucel is made with antioxidants and also formulated by a pharmacist in his one of a kind proprietary base. It's also never tested on animals and can help transform your skin. I have been using their products for over a month now, and I have to say, I love them. I love that they are super hydrating yet light weight and their unique formulation takes a whole new level to anti-aging skincare. I know people can hear anti-aging and think, oh, I'm not that old yet, but this is for every age and every skin type. Anti-aging skincare is preventative as well. Genucel skincare is legitimately for everyone. I've even seen my husband stealing my moisturizer. Can you believe it? One product that has really transformed my skin is retinol, and I don't even use prescription retinol, right? It's just over-the-counter retinol from Genucel. As long as you use this product consistently, I use it at night after I take my shower and when I do my skincare. I have really found that retinol helps my breakouts, it helps keep my skin tone more even, and it has helped to prevent those fine lines and wrinkles as I approach the 40-year-old mark. Right now, Genucel Skincare has an incredible deal on their Summer Essentials Package. You can try some of their best sellers and transform your skin today for an insane introductory discount. That's right, you can get life-changing skincare that is made with quality ingredients with this limited time only Summer Essentials bundle. You can use my code JEN today for an extra 10% discount. So go to genucel.com slash JEN and use my code JEN right now at checkout for this limited time offer. That's G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash JEN promo code Jen, J-E-N. And thank you again to Jen Yourself for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so we're gonna make dinner. I have some sirloin steak and some chicken breast, and I've got some bell peppers, and we're gonna make fajitas. I'm gonna make some Spanish rice as well. I'll link the recipe that I use for Spanish rice down below. It is pretty dang foolproof. I normally like to use vegetable oil for this, but unfortunately I am out right now, so I'm just using two tablespoons of plain butter. And then I'm gonna add two cups of just plain white rice to the skillet. And then you just wanna stir this around until the butter coats the rice. 
and we're just gonna cook it over medium heat until the rice gets a little bit toasty. You do have to keep an eye on this, stir it, you know, frequently so that it doesn't burn. Um, but we're almost there. And then I've got some cilantro stems. We're gonna add those in there for flavor and then just pick them out at the end. I've got four cups of water, some tomato sauce, and some chicken bouillon. I need a cup of tomato sauce. And I'm gonna add a teaspoon of bouillon powder. I'm almost out. I also added about a teaspoon of salt. You can just throw the cilantro stems in there. Lastly, some minced garlic. I've just got the garlic paste. I always think it's super easy to use, so I don't know, just a couple teaspoons of that. Some cumin, maybe about a teaspoon, and then some pepper. Okay, so now all you wanna do is bring this to a boil and then we're gonna cover it and simmer it. And when I say simmer, I mean like simmer, simmer on like the lowest simmer that you can do. If you boil it, what's gonna happen is the rice, or I'm sorry, the liquid is gonna evaporate before the rice gets a chance to cook. And I always find that it doesn't take quite as long as the recipe says. So I just basically cook it until all of the liquid is gone and then I let it sit with the lid on for about 20, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes to keep it, like to finish cooking. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna cook this inside or on the grill. It's super nice out, so I think I'm gonna use the grill, um, just less dishes. So I've got three chicken breasts here. I just butterflied these. I'm seasoning them just with salt and some taco seasoning. Then I'm gonna do the same with the sirloin. For my peppers, I've got a freezer pan here. What I'm gonna do, or a metal pan, whatever you wanna call it, I'm just gonna um, slice these peppers up, probably an onion also, and put them in the freezer pan so I can cook them on the grill that way. Okay, so I sprayed this with a little bit of avocado oil spray just to make sure it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna season with some salt. So I just preheated the grill while that's preheating. I'm gonna make some pico. So I've got tomato, cilantro that I just washed up, some red onion, a lime, and jalapeno. All right, so we've got our red onion, tomato, uh, jalapeno, lime juice. I put some salt in there, some cilantro. I'm just gonna stir this up and then I'll give it a taste to see if it needs any more salt and I'll probably add some pepper. Okay, and then for cheese, I'm gonna go ahead and shred some on my own because I think it sounds good. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, Kobe Jack block that I have. So I went ahead and gave the peppers a head start. So those are going, and I have that heat turned up a little bit higher. For the steak and the chicken, I'm gonna do those on medium heat over on this side of the grill. And I do like to try and let the meat sit with the spices on it just a little bit to kind of give it some flavor. For the tortillas, I'm gonna wrap these up in a little bit of foil and just throw them on the grill and warm them up. Here's how the rice turns out. I just put a paper towel under there to kind of soak up some of the steam, but I let this sit, whoops, I let this sit for about 20 minutes after it got done cooking with the lid on, and you can see, it turns out perfect. And then I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the meat. I'm gonna use corn tortillas for mine, so I'm just heating those up on the grill, or the gas griddle stove, I can't speak. So we got meat, peppers, we got sour cream, tortillas, salsa, cheese, rice, pico to go. Okay, so good evening. I just got out of the shower. I'm getting ready to go to bed. I just ate my whole snack before I could show it to you guys, but I did take a little bit of footage. For snack tonight, I had uh, a Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt in the peach. That is one of my favorite flavors, if you guys can find it. I also put some blueberries on top, and then the, I think this is the Nature Valley Low Sugar Granola. I've tried the Nature Valley Protein Granola before, and I don't care for it at all, but I do like the low sugar vanilla kind. It's really good. So all in total, I just wanna tell you my stats for today. That evening snack was only 150 calories. So definitely not bad there. Um, I did have a turkey stick and a cheese stick for an afternoon snack while I was cooking dinner. Overall, my stomach seems to be a lot better. So we are going to hope for a better day tomorrow. Overall today, I had 1,596 calories, which is under my goal of 1,650. I had 18 cups of water. 
and I got 95 grams of protein, which is pretty good, honestly. Like if I didn't, if I wouldn't have had that ramen for lunch and I would have had like my normal lunch that I was planning, which was like a chicken breast and salad, it probably would have been a lot better. Hey guys, good morning. So I'm just having an English muffin and I used half a serving of the American Dream Nut Butter Blueberry Cheesecake Almond Butter. I did use my scale to um, weigh it out, so I made sure I just had half a serving and that's what I'm gonna eat now and I'm drinking my water. So it's about one o'clock. Let me show you what I'm gonna make for lunch. So I have some spring mix. I actually got this pre, you know, like prepped and washed from the store and it was a little bit questionable. So I picked out all of the leaves that were not good. And then I just let it sit in the fridge with a paper towel in it uncovered so I could let some of the moisture out of this. It seems to be okay now. So I've got that, I've got some pico. I'm gonna make kind of like a barbecue chicken vibe salad. So this is a leftover chicken breast that we got. We went out to eat this weekend and I just saved it. So I will weigh that when I put it in the salad to see how much I've got there. Oh, this is probably four or five ounces or so. I've got some cucumber, some chopped green onion, some black beans, and then I've got, whoops, some leftover shredded cheese from last night. You like cheese? And then I'll probably crunch up a little bit of tortilla chips on there. So this scale, I've talked about it before. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. It's my favorite kitchen scale that I've ever used. I just like the way that it's set up and it's easy to kind of add things and be able to tear the scale so you can see how much is in there. So right now I have it teared and I'll put the chicken in. So that's three, three and a half ounces of chicken breast. Tear it again, change it to grams and add some black beans. So 70 grams of black beans. I don't usually measure my veggies like cucumber and lettuce. I mean, I don't weigh them, I measure them, I don't really weigh them. So it's one ounce of cheese, put my green onions, and then my pico, and then I do wanna weigh the chips, so let's do, I think 14 grams of chips is half a serving. 19 grams, okay. And then for my dressing, I'm gonna use the uh, Bolt House Farms. There's probably just about a serving left in the bottom of there. This is the regular ranch. I really like all of their flavors of dressing. I think they are so good. And they're all made with yogurt instead of mayo, so they're super low in calories. Okay, so mix this. And yes, I'm just eating it out of the same bowl that I stored the lettuce in because why the heck not? Okay, so this salad came out to 442 calories, 37 grams of protein. I probably won't even eat it all because I don't know that I'll be able to eat this much lettuce, but it's good. I love a good, I love a good BBQ chicken salad. So for a snack this afternoon, I had one of these Verb uh, caffeinated snack bars. I've tried several different flavors of these, but this s'mores one um, is definitely my favorite that I've tried. So I'll leave a link to them down below. These are 110 calories and I also had a cup of coffee. What? All right, so I'm gonna make some BLTs for dinner. So I just have a sheet tray here and I put some parchment paper on it. I'm gonna go ahead and bake the bacon in the oven. Um, I have it set up for 25. It'll probably take about 20 minutes. Okay, so I also got some corn on the cob at the grocery store this week. So I'm gonna make that with the BLTs. I just took the husks and the silks off of these and rinsed them off. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover them with water and we'll put them to a boil. Okay, so I just boiled the corn for, I don't know, probably about eight minutes. I'm gonna throw some butter in there, put the lid back on. Okay, so this is how I make my caprese. I don't even know if it's that authentic, but this is um, a recipe that um, New Pioneer Co-op uses and I love theirs, so I kind of started making it this way. But I take some grape or cherry tomatoes and I cut those in half and I put them in a bowl. I also chop up some herbs, basil. Sometimes I use red onion, but I had green onion, so I used some of that. And then I added salt, pepper, olive oil, um, a little bit of crushed red pepper flake. That's optional. And yeah, it's super good. It'll keep in the fridge for a couple of days as well. One thing I will say about baking bacon in the oven is the thinner it is, the obviously less time it will take <laughs> to cook. And I accidentally overcooked that well the rest of it's fine but there, there's a couple end pieces that are a little bit overcooked because this bacon that i had was a lot thinner than the one that i'm used to buying so 
I would probably set a timer for 15 minutes and then go from there. All right, so for the normal BLTs, I will toast the bread and then put mayo, bacon, lettuce, tomato, obviously. But I'm gonna have mine on one of these lavash breads. So I'm just using half. And what I do is I just lay this on top of the toaster and um, turn the toaster on and it heats it up. So I'm gonna add some mayo, about a tablespoon, some tomato. I'm gonna salt my tomato and pepper it. When I was a kid, I can just remember as a side for dinner a lot during the summer, having sliced tomatoes with salt and pepper. And I still like them. <laughs> I should have put the lettuce down first, but whatever. Some lettuce. That kind of fell apart, but I'm gonna do about two pieces of bacon. Ta-da. Okay, so I'm not gonna have any of the caprese because I actually snacked on quite a bit of it while I was making <laughs> while I was making it. So I just have uh, my corn on the cob. I tried this so I could tell you guys it's pretty good. I probably should not have toasted the lavash so much because it is a little bit too crispy and dry, but that's fine. So the little BLT wrap with the lavash, only 300 calories. So that's why I like using this when I can rather than bread. And I have to say, I tried the sweet corn. It's actually very good. I'm surprised to get good sweet corn this early in the year, especially from Walmart, but <laughs> it's good. Good evening for a snack so I can take my pills tonight. I'm having a piece of bread with peanut butter and jelly toasted course peanut butter and jelly toast basically so let me tell you where I ended out today calories 1645 80 grams of protein only 139 carbs so yeah feel pretty good about that I did not get any formal exercise in today so that will be my goal to get some of that done tomorrow in order to get my five hours of activity this week good morning friends happy Wednesday um, I got up a little bit earlier this morning than I normally do because I went to bed early. Hallelujah. I want to start getting up earlier again because ever since I stopped having a commute every day, I have turned into not as much of a morning person as I used to be. I used to have to, you know, be to my job where I worked an hour away by 6.30 in the morning. And since I don't have to do that anymore, it has really not done me any favors in terms of going to bed early and getting up early like I used to. So I wanna to try to transition back into that a little bit. Um, Adam normally switches his hours in the summer to he goes in earlier and gets off earlier. So it'll be the perfect time to do that. But I am going to probably just have a little bit of something this morning along with my water. So I'm drinking my water and I think I'm gonna have one of these Thomas uh, blueberry English muffins. Also, I'm very happy to report that just since Monday, with reducing my calories per day and getting back on track with eating and drinking my water, I'm down three pounds since Monday. Super happy about that. Have you guys tried these before? They're pretty good. I'm just gonna have a cup of coffee. See, now I remember why I like getting up early so much. It's because I feel like I can get more done between the hours of like five and seven than I could get done all day. You know that feeling? So I'm gonna make some breakfast. I've got these um, hash browns. I buy these from Walmart. They are super inexpensive and they're really good and they're just potatoes. The only, well, I mean, there's some preservatives in there too, but basically only potatoes. Um, three quarters of a cup, only 70 calories. So I'm probably gonna cook up half the bag and then I'll have some leftover for the rest of the week. I love using Lowry's seasoned salt on my fried potatoes or hash browns, it's so good. Hash browns are done. I'm gonna go ahead and make some scrambled eggs. Believe it or not, I have never made bacon in the air fryer before, but look how perfect that turned out. I cooked it at 350 for, I think, eight minutes. Okay, so here's what I've got. I've got two scrambled eggs, half a cup of cottage cheese. I'm using the Prairie Farms 2%, a cup of potatoes, and two slices of bacon. All right, so I'm spending my lunch break today taking Milo to the vet to get his heartworm test. You ready? Milo. Well, that was uneventful. Everyone's always commenting on how happy of a dog Milo is, and I agree. 
He's a happy boy. Anyway, I'm probably gonna pick up something for lunch for the kids. I don't know, they said they wanted Culver's. If I get Culver's, I'll probably just get a salad, but I'll show you what I eat. And that was a little over $300 for a heartworm test and three, or I'm sorry, heartworm test and six months of heartworm pills. All right, so I ended up getting, I think this is the strawberry field salad from Culver's. It's just got chicken, spring mix, blue cheese, pecans, strawberries, um, and then I put the raspberry vinaigrette on it. I'm gonna eat this quick because I have a crap load of stuff I need to get done today. Okay, so I'm gonna be walking the last hour and a half of my work day today. So I'm on my walking pad. I'll link it down below. I just got it on Amazon. And I'm on, I think I'm on my fourth glass of water. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm gonna make spicy chicken sandwiches. So I've got these Tyson spicy chicken patties. Um, I'm probably not going to have this. I'm probably gonna make a salad and something else. Um, but I'll kind of show you how I do everything so that I don't have to make <laughs> multiple meals. Um, I've got some lettuce because I'm gonna make a salad and then I'll shred some of that up for the chicken sandwiches, make some broccoli on the side and some fries in the oven. Since I have the oven go going, I'm gonna go ahead and cook these in the oven. If I didn't, I would probably make them in the air fryer, but I'm just gonna put them in with the fries. I think they take about the same amount of time. Go ahead and put the broccoli into a bowl. I'm just gonna steam it in the microwave, and then I'm gonna chop up some veggies and make some of this green onion dip mix into ranch dressing. If you never tried this before, it is so good. I can't find it around here in the grocery store, so I have to order it on Amazon. But basically you just mix this with sour cream or yogurt, and buttermilk and a little bit of mayo. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of make like a veggie tray with a celery and cucumbers, radishes, and carrots. So this is a mixture of Faye 0% uh, Greek yogurt and a little bit of sour cream. It's just shy of one cup. And then I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup of mayo. I'm gonna add the dip mix. And then one cup of buttermilk. All right, and then just to give it a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna add a dash of Worcestershire sauce and um, a little bit of minced garlic. I just normally store this in um, a glass mason jar in the fridge and I'll keep for about a week. Okay, so I just shredded this lettuce up super thin. Wee, wee. Okay, if you've never steamed broccoli in the microwave before, it's super easy. I normally just cook it for six minutes and then I drain the water out. It's using some melted plastic, AKA spray butter, salt. Now, I thought I had buns, but they were actually moldy. So I'm gonna have to use this bread instead, which is totally fine, it'll still work. I'm gonna put some mayo, chicken, and lettuce. Ta-da! You guys come here for the fancy stuff. I know, I know. Okay, so I've got our chicken sandwich, broccoli, fries. I'm gonna fix their all my family's plates and then I will uh, show you guys what I'm eating. Do you guys eat last two or is it just me? For my dinner, I'm gonna make um, a buffalo chicken pizza on one of these lavash breads. Mm -hmm. So I just sprayed one of these with avocado oil spray and I put it in the oven. And I've got some um, buffalo wild wings, wing sauce and some uh, chicken breast. I think that's it, maybe some cheese. On the flat out, I put some chopped up chicken breast and some um, buffalo sauce some mozzarella cheese and some cheddar cheese, just a little bit of each. All right, this doesn't take long to cook at all, so make sure you watch it. It maybe took like five minutes. I garnish this with a little bit of green onion. I tried a piece. It's really, really good. I recommend it. Okay, I wanna tell you how many calories and protein this had. So overall, 400. You were talking to me. <laughs> I was like, okay. You wanna know how many calories this has? So this whole like buffalo chicken flatbread pizza deal, only 421 calories and 48 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. So I have that and then I did put a little bit of ranch on it and then I have a salad with the ranch that I made um, earlier. Good morning everyone, happy Thursday. I didn't really tell you how my 
day ended out yesterday so let's do that right now so yesterday i had 1563 calories and I got thir over 13,000 steps in. So that was pretty good. I did something different yesterday where I put my Apple Watch, I clipped it onto my shoe. Um, let me know if you guys do like indoor walking. Do you do that or do you just leave it on your wrist and have it capture your heart rate? I've seen people do it different ways. If Obviously if it's clipped onto your shoe, it captures your steps when you're walking on a treadmill, but it doesn't capture your heart rate, so. I don't know what's better or different or or whatever um, or even if it really I guess it really doesn't matter that much but um, I have to get ready and then I have an early meeting this morning that I'm going to be presenting on for like two hours so that's super fun but um, I just woke up this morning I've had some water I'm probably gonna make a coffee to drink while I'm on my meeting and then I also made a English muffin this is just a plain one with peanut butter and jelly I have the blueberry ones I actually think they're a little bit too sweet for my liking. Like I like them, but I almost prefer the plain English muffins. Welcome back from break. Hopefully you got a chance to grab some coffee or water or whatever your beverage of choice is. I have, I have cold coffee, so I'm gonna finish it because I'm not a quitter, right? Okay, so we're gonna get started again with access to care. So we do show some actual access scores in this particular that was super long and I'm glad that's over <laughs> um, okay so I am having a peanut butter cream power crunch bar this is my favorite brand of protein bar if you've never tried them they're really good and then I made myself a cup of coffee and I'm having a diet coke um, so I guess I'm not really eating a proper breakfast today, but all right, so this looks messy I apologize. I've already eaten half of it because I need to go to another meeting But we have our cleaner our house cleaner downstairs today Um, she's working on the kitchen and so I didn't really want to go in there and bother her and cook anything So I just ordered subway for the kids and I I got a buffalo chicken six inch with like ranch and tomatoes and cucumbers It's actually pretty good. I've never gotten that kind from subway before I normally usually just get like turkey and roast beef or something like that and then I got some baked lays. There's my friend. Okay, so tonight for dinner, I'm having some pork carnitas that I made in the Instant Pot. So I just put four and a half ounces of that in the bowl. I have half a cup of leftover rice from the other night, some lettuce. I also put some shredded cheese. I've got tomatoes, sour cream, cilantro, and tomatoes. So after dinner, I'm gonna have one of these Dannon light and fit cookies and cream. Uh, Greek crunch, only 130 calories. The only other thing I ate tonight was a few saltines and I just took my medicine and I'm gonna get ready to go uh, take a shower and probably do some emails and go to bed. Um, the going to bed earlier, getting up earlier has been getting better. It's now 9.30 and I'm pretty tired, so that's good. Uh, overall today I had 1,618 calories. I got my hour of exercise in, walking, and I got 110 grams of protein, and I got all my water in, so I'm pretty dang excited about that. Overall this week I've gotten in three hours of activity, and I think I told you guys my goal is five hours per week, so that shouldn't be too hard to do at this point, so I'll see you in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. So it's a little after six and I'm gonna get started early on some work this morning. I'm having one of these light and fit uh, protein yogurt drinks. They're really good, only 80 calories and 10 grams of protein. And I also had a banana. So Adam and I are gonna be going out for dinner tonight. So we have like drinks and dinner planned for our date night and I wanna make sure I kinda keep my calories a little bit low today. So I'm going to use this everything chopped salad kit. Um, I'm only gonna use about half the dressing and then I'm gonna put some uh, chicken on top. This is just plain rotisserie chicken breast that I got from uh, Hy-Vee. And then I've got an avocado that I need to use up so I'm gonna add a little bit of that as well. So I definitely recommend adding the avocado to the salad mix. I've never done that before. It's really good. Um, so I've got the salad mix in there, about three ounces of chicken and 48 grams of avocado, which I did weigh out. I don't normally weigh out fruits and veggies, but obviously that avocado is a little bit higher in fat and calories. Overall, this comes to 365 calories, 21 grams of protein. So I still have 
um, 1,092 calories left for the day, um, which we're gonna go out for drinks and dinner, so I need to save as many calories as possible. <laughs> so I thought I would show you guys my outfit. So I do, I'm not a huge fan of rompers, but I actually like this one. It's from Torrid. I got it a few years back, so it's probably not available anymore, but yeah, it's cute. And I can wear a bra with it, which is nice <laughs> because I cannot be going without a bra, girls. Um, and then these earrings are from Kendra Scott. I can link them down below. Um, and obviously, Obviously, I'm not wearing Crocs tonight. Obviously, I will probably wear my sandals or something like that, but we wear Crocs in the house because that's how we roll. Okay, so I wanted to keep my afternoon snack pretty low-cal. So in this bowl here, I have 200 grams of strawberries, a cup of the, or a container of the Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt and strawberry cheesecake, and then a quarter cup of the Special K Honey Almond. This only comes to 182 calories, and 14 grams of protein. So I think that's a pretty good snack. Like, honestly, that's a lot of food. I think like, I don't know. I, need, I know for sure I need to eat more fruit or maybe I should consider start eating more fruit. I'm not like a huge fruit fan. I would actually rather have veggies than fruit. What about you guys? Anyway, I'm off of work now. I took a couple hours off this afternoon. I don't know what time Adam is getting home, but uh, we're probably gonna head out within the next hour or so. We have to stop at the pool store to Adam wants to get some more supplies for our hot tub. And then we're gonna stop a few places for drinks and then we have uh, dinner reservations. Okay, so it's actually Saturday, but I wanna kind of brief you guys on Friday evening. So I told you that I saved quite a bit of calories for dinner and drinks and I put everything into my fitness pal. We went out for dinner at Mississippi, I think it's called Mississippi River Distilling Company. Um, Adam really likes whiskey. I do not like hard liquor. I don't really care for mixed drinks that much either, but they did have beer on tap. I, if I'm gonna drink something, I always want like a cold beer. <laughs> I don't know, this is, this is what I prefer. I had three IPAs, two at the uh, bar place and then one with the dinner. I just put like generic IPA into my fitness pal. And then I had pecan chicken, broccolini, and cheese grits. The thing about going out to eat is that you really don't know for sure how many calories things are, but I kind of just estimated. And really, I didn't go over my calories by that much. I pretty much ate like around 2,000, 2,100 calories yesterday. So I feel like that's still pretty good for going out to eat. You know, it's one of those things where if you're like dieting and trying to lose weight and you blow it all one night and you eat like, you know, 1500 calories of, of dinner and drinks, then you kind of just want to say like, screw it. You know, I fell off the wagon, but I don't feel like that today because obviously I didn't really go overboard. So back at it this morning, drinking my water, eating my breakfast. Hooray. That was one tip that I got before from a coach that I had hired at one point in time to do weight loss coaching with. I told them, I was like, okay, so I feel like I do really well on my plan when I'm at home, but then when I go out of town for work, it's more of a social thing, right? Like everyone that you work with wants to go out for dinner and drinks, and it's like, I don't do that when I'm at home, right? Because I just cook, <laughs> cook dinner here. And so he's like, one of the things if you want to do that is say, okay, like be very intentional. Say like, okay, if I'm going to go out for drinks, I'm going to get a salad or something like lower calorie, like grilled protein and veggies. And then just make sure you drink your water and then set an intention that you're going to have a high protein breakfast the next morning. Now, obviously like, I'm not talking about going out on like a drinking vendor and like <laughs> getting drunk. I'm just talking about like going out with friends and having two or three drinks or something like that and dinner. So that's one of the things that's been like helpful for me is like, just make sure you drink your water, you know, plan out high protein breakfast the next day, get back on track. Everything is, is all good. So while I was cooking lunch, I had a bag of these spicy dill pork rinds. So I didn't realize that the Southern recipe small batch brand had these individual bags of pork rinds and I found them on Amazon the other day, just randomly popped up in my recommended. I love this because I really like these and they're high, they're a good high protein snack, but I like these better than the big bags because obviously it's easier portion control and you don't end up with a big bag that goes stale if you don't eat them all right away. So I'll link these down below. I think they might have a coupon code right now. I'm not sure. And then I was filming um, another video that I'm working on and this is an Instant Pot meal. 
that I made. So I just had it. Adam and I are just gonna have it for lunch. This is bourbon chicken. It is so good. I have never made this particular recipe before, but I just made it in the Instant Pot with chicken thighs. It's got like bourbon and hoisin sauce and soy sauce and honey um, in the sauce. And then I just put it over some white rice. I'm probably not gonna be able to eat all this cause I'm getting kind of full. So this is what I'm having for dinner. So I um, decided to put the made right meat on half a bun. So it's kind of like open faced. And then I put a little bit of cheese sauce on there. It's just this Velveeta cheese sauce to make it like a cheese right. Ketchup, mustard, pickle, and then I have a little bit of this pasta salad. I normally don't like prepared pasta salad, but this kind from Hy-Vee is actually really good if you've never tried it before. All right, so I wanna let you guys know how I felt about this week. So honestly, I felt really good about this week. This was the first week that I was really back on track. I drank all my water. In terms of exercise, my goal was to do five hours this week. I only did, not only, but <laughs> I actually did three. I still consider that good, even though I did not get my total five in, but I'm working on that this week. I think that really the challenge for me going forward is that the travel with my job is not gonna stop anytime soon and it's like every other week. So, you know, the weeks I'm home, I have control over my eating, I have time to exercise, you know, everything goes pretty well. The weeks that are that I'm away from home is really a challenge for me and so that's something that I need to continue to work on, getting a handle on and, you know, I think I've gotten better, but in terms of like weight loss progress while I'm traveling, I haven't been necessarily doing the best with that, but I did lose four pounds this week. Now, obviously I know that some of that is water weight that I had gained from traveling frequently and not having my water and just eating poor quality foods in general. But I was super happy with a four pound loss this week. So I finally hit 20 pounds down. Hallelujah. It's only taken me what? six months. I mean, 20 pounds is 20 pounds, right? And six months is a long time to lose 20 pounds, but I just have to keep telling myself, like, just stay the course, keep doing what you're doing, try to improve, you know, get better every week. Let me know if you have any tips down below. You know, some things that I've been doing during travel that have helped me are bringing my Stanley mug with me so I can make sure that I stay hydrated. I've been doing pretty well with that. Um, I've also been putting some better, kind of more high quality, high protein snacks into my bag. That really helped the last week I was on travel because when I was getting hungry in the airport or on a plane and the only thing you have access to is like chips and Biscoff cookies, then you know, you can have a turkey stick or some nuts or cheese crisps or so, you know, something like that that's not gonna have just like empty carbs in it. So that's something I've tried. Um, I've also been taking like my fiber supplements with me while I am gone so that I can make sure to keep everything moving because <laughs> you know, sometimes that is a challenge uh, when you're on travel. So yeah, we'll just see you know, how it goes. Let me know how you guys are doing. I know a lot of you are trying to lose weight as well. It is a lifelong struggle for some of us. Like what would life even be like if we didn't have to worry about our weight? Like what if we were just naturally thin, like some people? Like don't you think that would be like a huge mental load off of us? <laughs> I often wonder what that would be like. <laughs> Anyway, we shall carry on. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. If you wanna see the playlist of all of my What I Eat in a Week videos, you can click right here and I'll see you over there, bye.